So everybody sort of asks if we're going to do this again. And I want to. I thought this was great. I think the wine advent, while it was fun, I would like something with more variety. And knowing how much time this actually takes after doing this, I'm just opening three things, now we have four things, but it's super enjoyable. I don't know. We'll see. You know? I'll target into it. Welcome back. It's Sunday, December 1st, 2019, and here we are. Second year, uh, talked her into it. Didn't really need to do all that much convincing, especially yeah. after... Well, we found out early this year that there was going to be a beer advent calendar, which wasn't that interesting to me, but it's Aaron's. Aaron was all about it. And then, when I went to Aldi this year, I discovered they had a dog treat advent calendar, and so then I got really excited. And also, apparently uh, word got back to Aldi headquarters that their chocolate advent calendar sucked, and they came out with this beautiful Moser and Roth um, advent calendar with assorted chocolates and truffles. So, we will be getting way better chocolate this year. Yeah, so we went from epic adventing to, I think, extreme Extre adventing. Yeah, this is definitely extreme. Because it's just getting worse. Because <laughs> we have beer, we have wine. Oh, and this year, um, they did pair. I don't know if it will actually go. I'm curious to see once we crack these open, because it says pair with your wine advent calendar. So will the cheeses go with the wines? Will the wines be the same as last year? Will the cheeses be the same as last year? So many questions. And then these, so we have one, two, three, one for each dog. We're not going to introduce the dogs tonight. We're going to save that for tomorrow because this first night is full of exciting things. So <laughs> we will be giving those off camera and then sharing the footage with you tomorrow, I think. So, welcome back. Merry Christmas, everybody. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Okay, which one should we do first? Let's, do, let's, start, with the, let's start with the wine. Okay. We, we're pretty sure it's going to be a Prosecco again, which was really delicious. So. Hold this. Yeah, look how cute that dog, that dog guy is. Okay. So, this morning... Driving a car. Is he driving a car or is he driving a sled? It's a car. It's a cava rosé. A refreshing fizz with appealing aromas of red fruits and herbs. So served chilled by itself with nuts, cold meats, or salad. Well, it's a rosé instead of Yay. a prosecco. Yay! You know, so rosé is like... Uh, it's probably maybe my least favorite, least favorite one. I don't know if you can really call it. That one. I think it's one of those things you're supposed to drink cold because it tastes like shit. Well, let's not go. <laughs> it's not that bad. Well. So since I'm such a fucking snob about it. Hold on. So day one, Sunday, December first, 2019. Here we go. Ha! Huh, that'll tickle you in the nose. What do you think? It's fine, I guess. I don't know. I am not loving the bitterness. There's a bitterness to it, which obviously, maybe chilled, it wouldn't be that way. And it's got a bite. What's One that? One of those housewife shows. How's like, that go? It's like a uh, rosé all day. Oh. Rosé no. not all day <laughs> around here. We're not crazy about it. I feel like it just got out of control. You know, like it's one of those things that everybody clung on to. In preparation for this, since last year it was so... It was intense. It was so physically taxing to drink every day. Like, I really haven't drank much this last month. 
Also, I haven't had cheese in like a oh, long that's time. That's right. Okay. Good segue. So, as usual, where the fuck is number one? Oh, there it is. Okay. If they really, I have no idea. Okay. Red Lester. I don't movie. know. Apparently, this does not. I cannot see pairing this with that. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but I. I what so, do you see pa pairing this with? Well, it says cold meat, nuts, and a salad. Potato chips. Not red luster. I can tell you that. Not red luster. Do you know what would go really well with this? Chocolate. That cheese is out of this world. It's I have not. So I'm like sort of a vegan-ish. Um, I eat cheese like pretty rarely, but when I do, it's out of this world. And that just blew your mind. All right, yeah. do we want to go to the Happy Holidays beer advent Let's calendar? Let's do this. A whole beer. Oh boy. Oh. They all can't be winners, I guess. A pilsner. Mmm. Show the bottle. German beer. Would you like me to get you a frosty mug? Um, yeah. Okay. Oh my god, look at them! Oh, there's two in each one, and they're small enough that even Asia could probably eat them. Oh, that is, that's sort of adorable. Oh, it's adorable. So I, I was bored watching him pour his beer, and I opened the Omega Snacks advent calendar. It's fine. Yeah. It's a... Wernes Gruner. Wernes Gruner. Deutsch Braukost. Kunst. Kunst. Brow kunst. That's <laughs> so. All right. Again, I'm just gonna show this for the camera because this is such an improvement over last year. Look at those. When I got to Aldi and I was like, "Where are the chocolates?" So they were on a shelf like this, and I instantly knew that that shit was gonna be way better this this time around. And then just underneath it were the Omega Snacks. I'm getting that Red Luster, huh? Uh, I'm trying to look at beer. Okay. Mmm. This is a Latte Macchiato Truffle. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. All right, I'm going to try it with the Rosé. Good. I mean, if we're comparing last year, oh yeah, knocked it out of the park. Last year they're all the same chocolate. And that shitty like, milk chocolate. Yeah. Does not pair well. I don't think anything goes well with rosé. Oh no. Okay. Well, day one. That's it. We're done. I'm gonna wrap it up. I'm gonna wrap it up. See y'all tomorrow. Yeah. Do not do that. <laughs>